When it comes to working out, you can't forget about the most important part, and that is warming up. Joining us, our friend, founder and director of Tulsa Fitness Systems, Clint Howard. Good morning. Welcome back. Last time you were here, you had those cool foam roller things, yeah. and that was like your pre-stretching stretch. Exactly. The foam roller really just kind of works out notch restrictions, kind of stirs up the tissue, the muscle. So you do that first for like five minutes. The next thing you want to actually go into your warm-up, your stretching routine. So you're ready to stretch now. So, okay. so many people just want to jump in into the workout, want to, you know, not do all the stuff that you do beforehand because they're maybe they're in a hurry, something like yeah. that. But you, you can't stress enough how important Exactly. That's the most important thing. I mean, just for injury prevention, just to loosen up the core temperature of your muscles, it warms up your body. So you always want to stretch. And that's the thing I see. People are like, oh, I've got 20, 30 minutes. I'll just touch my toes and I'm ready to go. And that's, you know, you want to do a little bit more than that. And the way we do it, we kind of sneak in our stretches. And so we actually integrate our warm up and our stretches together. There's two types of stretching. There's one that's called static, where you just hold a position. And what we're going to do is more dynamic. So it actually, some, there's movement involved. So it's kind of like a, a workout, a mini workout during your warm up. So it kind of integrates them together. Okay, so, so stretching and warming up. Yeah, this is Brooke here. She's going to okay. help demo. So the first thing we're going to do is just a forward lunge. And so she's got her hands behind her head. So this is getting a good stretch through the hip flexors when she goes forward. That's a zoas, a muscle that really usually gets restricted and tight on most people. Mm -hmm. She's getting a stretch to the upper body here with her shoulders back, good posture. And so that would be the first thing we would do. Then from there, real simply, we're just going to reverse that. So she's going to go into a reverse lunge and add a rotation. One thing we see a lot of as well is most people do everything in a sagittal plane, which is just front to back. You want to work in all three planes of motion. This is transverse plane. So you're getting a rotation, loosen up the thoracic spine, the mid-back, getting more glutes here, the back side when you go reverse. So we're hitting there. Then we're going to go frontal plane. So now we're going to go side to side, which is something we don't do a lot of. So you want to really get stability through the frontal plane. She's pushing the hips out, so she's getting a good stretch through the inner thighs here, the hip adductors, and also getting a reach. Okay, so that's three quick and easy things you can do upper body. We're stretching, getting the heart rate up, getting loose. Then I'll have her go down to the floor now. We'll do two quick things on the floor. The first thing here, we're going to do a push-up. So we're kind of integrating some strength training in our stretching here. So she's doing a push-up plus, just adding that little extension. That's going to activate these muscles. They're called the serratus anterior. They wrap around and connect to the scapula, so they're really important for shoulder stabilization and for shoulder good shoulder health. This is going to now go back into a stretch. All she's going to do is push the heels down, the hips up and back, so now she's getting a good stretch through the hamstrings How and How long have you been working with Brooke? Uh, Brooke's been coming for uh, six months, about six months. And so she's got this down pretty good. So yeah. uh, this, you do this a couple times. Then one last thing, we're going to sneak in some ab exercise and core work here. So we're going to go into a side pillar. So our body's in a straight line. The hips are up. So we're working stabilization here. And now we're going to add a reach through or a pull through. So she's reaching underneath, coming out. So getting a good stretch through their obliques and also opening up the chest. We're also working our core. So we kind of sneak in some ab exercises, some strength training, and some warm up into our stretches. Yeah, I would imagine so, if you don't have a lot of time, say you got five, ten minutes, good. if you need to work out, maybe something like this would be good for, you know, the hotel this is, room, I mean, on a road trip or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Our warm up, a lot of people, is, they say it's more intense than their workout. So, mm -hmm. it's, so you're kind of integrating everything together. It's quick, it's easy, five or ten minutes, the heart rate gets up and you're, you're loose. And so you can take that as a workout if you're just starting off or if you need a hurry or take that into a you know a strength training routine after that. So. Yeah, I imagine some people would be sore just from doing that. Oh, exactly, yeah. Brooke's <laughs> yeah. been doing this for a while, so she's a professional, but yeah. most people just could just start with that. So. Yeah. Well, great. Clint, thank you so much oh, thanks. for thank coming you. in. If you would like to see these warm-up stretches again, just go to fox23.com and click on Daybreak.